This mod is full featured MCM settings menu mod for natural and atmospheric Commonwealth 10 Legacy Edition. This mod allows you to configure an ACX with MCM. Now you can comfortably select all mod settings within the MCM menu. All settings known from the armor menu are well aligned in hierarchical pages. Also include the full list of weather categorized in categories, which let you choose the current weather with the ease of a single click. Also you can easily set weathers on the NACX blacklist, if you don't like them. And include the possibility to assign multiple hotkeys for changing weather to a random specific weather, or get the current weather forecast. Also this mod makes all NACX settings available for MCM Settings Manager. So you can save, load, and transfer your settings between games. Flushy Fertile Infestations mod adds State of Decay 2 style infestations to Fallout 4 that grow over time if left unchecked, where each incremental growth is slightly stronger than the previous level. There are three levels of infestation, just as there are in State of Decay 2. Due to constraints however, this mod will only track up to six active infestations at a time. To get started, simply go to the utility menu of the Camlet and craft the free settings holotape. The mod starts in a disabled state so you will need to use the holotape to turn it on and to set up the basic settings for the mod. For those who use MCM, the mod does ship with an MCM menu for you to use instead of the holotape, though you aren't required to use it. The difficulty setting in the holotape tells the infestations how big they are and what relative strength the ferals are. The higher the difficulty, the more ferals there will be and there will be a stronger stuff. To clear an infestation, all ferals at the target site must be eliminated, plus the infestation continue to grow. Missions for infestations show as missed quests and will not clutter your main quest log. After each infestation is cleared, it allows for further infestations to occur, allowing the mod to last for as long as you play your character. Failure to clear infestations will result in the fully formed, level 3 infestation leaving their current lair and making their way to the Mirstone player settlement in search of them, which of course is what makes the mud's infestations have an actual gameplay hook. Works best when you have mortal settler mods enabled, so there is an actual cost to not clearing infestations. Infestations randomly occur as you travel around the Commonwealth world space they will never trigger in Far Harbor or Nuka world. Basics Impact Overhaul and Bullet Casing Sounds mod as it uses the volume of all physical objects when they bounce, hit walls and materials, if you bump on them or push manipulate them including bullet casings on all surfaces, for the ODFLs of Fallout 4. Unfortunately Bethesda got a bit lazy with some objects and they either have no sound at all or an incorrect one, this mod fixed this in the future for a perfect audio soundscape. It works best with Bullet Impact Overhaul and main Impact Overhaul from the creators of this mod so you can even hear things bouncing when you shoot or hit. Today's video is here. Thank you for watching the video till the end. The video's voice and subtitles were created based on the creator's description. Subscription like notification setting is very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.